Hello everyone, it's Exo here. How are you? How are you? I'm doing very good. Uh, normally before I start recording, I plan on what I am going to do. But sadly, I went AFK to get a cup of drink. But when I came back, I was lying on the ground dead. And I lost all my stuff, sadly. So we are going to have a little bit of an enchantment session in the beginning of this video. After that, we're going to start with our original plans. I'll see you guys in the end farm. Oh, somebody stole the mine card. Either that or it's on the other end with someone. I'm just going to run this uh, road, I guess. So what I am aiming for is I'm, of course, going to get a looting free sword, hopefully. I have all the necessary books for the extra effects and I will be also getting a daily use pick. I'm keeping my silk touch unfortunately in my ender chest. I'm glad I do that. Uh, so we are going to be getting a hopefully efficiency 5 unbreaking 3 pickaxe, some protection on our armor and looting 3 sword. The rest is just, I don't care what it look, looks like or how it is. It, uh, while I'm here, I thought I'd show you guys this in action and give you some details. Basically, this is a regular uh, Enderman farm that relies on the fact that these guys attack the Endermites on, on the very top and they drop here. And it's, I believe, a 42 or a 43 block drop. So they will go down to zero hearts. So when you hit them once, they die. Uh, I'm going to start to use this, but it's going to get very, very loud. So I'm just going to get my sound down to 0% and maybe hostile creatures to 5%. Let's see. I hope this is not loud on the video, but basically you go around and punch them like this and get the XP. Or there should be a minecart here and when you flick this, it constantly goes around and around. Then you just hold, uh, I believe, right click, left click, yeah. Or you, you should be constantly clicking to get uh, to kill them in one punch and get their loot well as you can see we have tons upon tons of ender pearls and these chests are all full to the brim with ender pearls so ender pearls is now a problem in server so so is now exp uh, i'm gonna get my last bit of enchanting done i'm trying to get a looting three sword with all these to the side and when i ha done do that i will see you guys in my base catch you later oh. I don't know what it is with me today. I came in here to do some trading to get some emeralds and I found a zombie here trying to get to these guys with diamond, uh, no, with iron armor and diamond sword. And look at this. This is my old stuff when I died here. He took them and never despawned. I could have done that so much faster. This already has looting, but I don't know. I'm not going to complain. Anyway. Back to our real plan, uh, so unlike the previous episodes, in this episode I'm going to start a very very big project. As you can see, this area is filled to the brim with uh, entities and it causes lag. It, it has a lot of redstone in it, it has a lot of item frames in it. So what I thought I would build a like VIP lounge kind of place in the sky. like somewhat away from this place but it would also have an easier access so what i'm gonna do here is you guys see this uh, ring that i've built to uh, view the base from the up above so we can get a better view of the things and the area and everything but i'm gonna take this to the advantage and i'm gonna build one more of these facing the other way so when we look from under my mob spawner it's gonna be a gigantic v-shape of two uh, circles if you may and starting from where the second circle ends i'm gonna build a big tray or a saucer kind of place and i will have my like living lounge in there so inside it it's gonna be all decoration it's gonna have a nice looking and uh, when i first came into the server they said if I can give you a good advice, it would be go big. So I am going to go big and make the entire tray out of quartz. I know it's a little crazy, but I've stocked up some quartz during my time in here. So I'm going to be using a fortune, fortune 3 pick to 
break all of these into nether uh, quartz, then I'm going to turn those into slabs. I should get a decent amount of slabs at least to start the tray. So I will be building a gigantic cube of these to get into it with fortune pick. And I'll see you guys when I do that. Uh, I may have underestimated the amount of quartz I have. <clears throat> I have no idea about the dimensions of this thing, but it is big. It, it is big. I mean, it, it it's a gigantic cube <laughs> of quartz. So let me count this. It's, I know it's eight here, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it, it's 80 in one place, and I believe it goes another eight this way. So it's 8 by 8 by 10, the entire cube, and I have a kind of staircase here to go up and down easily. So what I'll do here is I'm going to grab a fortune 3 pick and I'll dig into this. But I realized I forgot to show you guys the enchants I got. So I got pretty decent enchants. This is my fortune pick. Uh, but this is going to be my everyday use pick that I use with haste 2 beacons. So the unbreaking 3 and fortune 2 is kind of the... Uh, I didn't plan that, I didn't use books for those, it just came in from the enchanting book. I got an efficiency for axe and shovel. I worked a lot for the looting 3 sword and knockback, sharpness 5 and fire respect 2 came from books. Also this is power 5, infinity and unbreaking 3. I could have added flame or punch in that but I didn't bother. As for the uh, body, I got pretty much power protection 4 in everything other than the chest plate which has protection 3 and this is a single enchantment the iron boots it had protection 4 unbreaking 3 feather falling 4 and depth charge of 3 so i'm very happy with this and the rest is like pretty much i have unbreaking everything i don't i believe i don't have unbreaking 3 in only this so it's it's going to be a lengthy process to use up all of these and I'm, i probably will repair these a bunch of times I was just about to dig into this, but I came up with the idea of doing a time lapse. So I don't have a spectator account on the server yet. I've asked the admins to get one. They're still discussing it. But this is going to be a first person time lapse, I guess. And I will share how much uh, quotes I got in the end. So here we go. Takes a poop and the president too And the fancy dance banker in his three-piece suit The big sad general and all of his troops The truth of the matter is everybody poops The famous brain surgeon has to lead his lump And the high-priced model has to stop for a dump But can the size of Canada can not throw away the truth Cause even if they don't admit it, everybody poops Everybody Wow, that was long and tiring. But here we are. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 36 stacks of nether quartz plus 3 plus 40. 
so this is gonna be more than enough this is gonna be like 20 stacks of slabs this is gonna be probably more than enough to cover the the saucer that I talk about if not I'm gonna be doing this a couple more times I guess but uh, I guess the preparations are, are done I'm just gonna craft this I'm just gonna build a gigantic dirt circle f to get like the schematics in and I'm gonna be building the uh, circle the sloped circle that I talked about earlier so for that I also need to go to the mesa biome and get some hardened clay wow this is gonna be a, an episode of mining isn't it I'll catch you around right I have done the circle this is gonna be the schematics for what I'm gonna do basically the slope you can see that is coming from the entrance to here will be going from here to up into the sky and will end up somewhere in here so what I will do here is replicate what I have on the ground using the schematic from above because as you can see I'm just wow I've never looked at this place from this angle to be honest I'm surprised as much as you guys so let's see I'm glad we have a plasma TV right there my farms, my mob spawner. What else? Let's see. <coughs> There's me. My skin statue. If that's the correct term to use to describe that. My entrance. And yeah, as you can see, the difference on height between this point and the ground level is this much. It's about 60 blocks. I can actually see this in F3. 180 Y. So that's 64 down there, so that's 44 blocks. So this bit will be, again, 44 blocks right there. And it's going to have my uh, VIP lounge on it, as I said. Uh, so I'll go to the Mesa biome, get, get some uh, hardened clay. Also, I will get some sandstone, and we'll crack on with this. Oh, come on, clouds. You're taking your sweet sweet time aren't you I can't see my schematics <sighs> right I am taking down the last bit of scaffolding uh, there you go so let me show you guys what I did I've added the road in that I talked about and gladly it matched there the first time I did it it didn't cause any problems and I will be expanding this on both sides with two blocks using white and yellow stained hardened clay. And I will replicate the street lamps, lamps kind of desi uh, design also. And uh, finish this in between episodes. Sadly, this is all the time that I have for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, all the links can be found in the description below. We have a Twitter page. Follow us on Twitter and uh, go check us out in the official website i'll catch you guys on the next episode when we start doing the tray with quartz and maybe some glass i'll see you around bye